Hey, Zach Dixon here from Zach Dixon Coaching and today we're going to be talking about how important communication is to oneself. You know, every single minute we're alive, my friends, yeah, every single minute we're alive, we are communicating with ourselves. What are you saying to yourself on a consistent basis? Is it empowering you or disempowering you? Because whatever you're consistently saying to yourself, that's what you're going to become, right? Whatever you consistently speak, you'll become. Whatever you consistently speak, you'll create. So what are you saying to yourself on a consistent basis? Because every single morning we wake up and there's two different there's two different methods. One method is waking up and saying, Oh, I have to go to work and then they get they're like this and they walk out, they go in the shower and then they get in their car and they're still tired, they're like, Well, why do I have to do this? Why do I have to go to work? So I don't want to go to work. And just saying those questions over and over again puts you in that lousy state and then you get to work and you you're still tired and then you have to have your coffee and then it takes you like two or three hours to actually fully wake up. Compared to this side, when you wake up in the morning like this is maybe too extreme saying, yes, I can't wait to go do something today. I can't wait to go to the gym. I can't wait to do all these amazing things. Meet new people, do all these crazy things. And then they get going the shower. They're really relaxed. They're moving. They're saying, I love life. I'm grateful for life. And then they get in the car. And it doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter if the person in front of them is going slow. They still feel that abundance for every single day. And that's what I want you to have. I want you to feel grateful instead of focusing on what you don't have. That's why people are depressed. They focus on what they don't have. You know, the secret to depression, focus continuously on yourself and what you're, what you're not getting. That's the only way to get depressed. You'll get depressed like that. But the other way is if you focus on what you have, you'll be happy. Focus on what you have because you have a lot. And you know, everyone has problems at some level, but your idea of a problem is someone else's idea of their ultimate dream. You know, your worst problem has to be put in perspective. Because there's always someone less off than you. There'd, there'd be someone praying to be something somewhere near you. You know, they'd pray to look like you. They'd pray to live, wake up every day in Australia. You know, you have to be grateful for every single day. Grateful for things. Because sometimes we get in our head and say, oh, I'm not feeling that. And you feel anxiety about it. And you feel anxious about it. But the real reason is you're not thinking of what you have. Stop focusing on start focusing on what you have and not what you don't have and you'll be happy and fulfilled and you'll take that ripple effect to other people. So that's my message today. Live passionately every day. Boom!